A warm welcome back to Afternoon Express, live on SABC3. Last night on Tropical Island of Treasure Seychelles, another team got eliminated from the competition. And after a bit of confusion in the challenge, Team Zakir are officially out of the competition. And we're joined now by Zakir Patel and uh, Dylan Reddy. So first of all, what a great season you guys were part of. I loved your energy between the both of you. And the pairing was quite an interesting one. I mean, the way that you got to choose Dylan in the process. Let's take a quick look at that dating procedure. <laughs> Yeah, I chose you. What do you think of my house? Um, this was an interesting pairing. Because, I mean, was it the tattoo that attracted you? What was it about uh, the, well, your pairing that was so perfect? I think what, whatever it was that drew me towards Delon was everything that I needed in a partner. I mean, I've said it so many times that he's the yin to my yang. And I know I could never have done half the things I did on the island if I didn't have him with me. Because he literally was so cool when I was... I think people have now noticed when <laughs> I when I was so 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 hot, and I mean, I think if there were two people with tempers or two people who were hot together, it could have been quite explosive. And I don't think we would have done half as well as we did, or I would have done half as well as I did without mm. someone to to bring me down and to just be like, okay, it's okay that she called me that, and it's, <laughs> it's okay that she said that she doesn't mean it. <laughs> well, there were so many moments on the show with those hot words. Let's take a look at some of the recaps from those from the season. Give me a tissue, please. The whole thing. Quick, guys, this take is a competition. Off, take one off, take one off, take it off, take it off, take it off. Come here. Wait, where are you, Delon? It was only going in circles. You just make it work. Turn it around, just grab it, just... Where were you? Oh! Zakia. Please, can I just explain the where were you? I've got eight pieces of wood when you're trying to dive or hold like push it pulling you back up so i had to i didn't have anyone to give my my puzzle pieces to so i literally kept floating when all i need to do is go down yeah. so it was quite also you're drowning my hairs everywhere it was it was really it was a horrible that was a horrible mm. horrible horrible but experience Dylan, from your side i mean i even saw that moment when she was sitting on the raft with you and she says you're making it worse <laughs> what was she like to work with because i mean that in that particular scenario it wasn't your fault i think she realized then that like this thing was just so broken and going in the complete wrong direction. No, man, I said make it work. Uh, well, basically, I knew that she was hot-headed at that time, so mm. I just had to keep calm and try and let's go, get through this challenge and let's just go through it. Mm. And by me also, like, shouting at her, it would have made things worse. So that's why I just kept quiet and... Well, Delon, even with you being the, what, yang to your ying or the ying to her yang, I mean, there was a chance for you to really shine in the spotlight there. There was that uh, competition where you guys had to split teams, you were paired up with Siv, you guys won the challenge together, but then had to fight for bounty together. I mean, what was that like? Siv is so competitive. I mean, getting paired off with Siv as a competitor and then knowing that I'm, I want to take you down and then getting paired off with him, we sort of went to the final and then one-on-one, -on -one, it was like, I have to take you down. I thought yeah. it was something that's going to be like athletic, sporty, but unfortunately it was puzzle. So I still said, okay, this is my thing. Got the puzzle right, and there we go. Sylvie's down. Boom, and you got your bounty. And so it wasn't the only time you guys had won bounty, which was really cool through the process. But I mean, let's talk a bit about your elimination. Uh, with all the bounties that you guys had got over the period of time, your elimination was quite controversial because I didn't really understand how that happened because it was just a mistake. Uh so what happened was the you're looking for puzzle pieces under the water and they have different colors but there's a dark blue team and a light blue team yeah. and underwater you can't tell the difference in colors so after racing through without anywhere to put all my my puzzle pieces i'd collected all of maurice and michelle's pieces for mm. them oh my word um and a few of the light blue ones but you couldn't see the color so i mean i was so i was quite sad about that because we literally we did the work we were already on our way back when we realized we had um, we had the wrong colors. Mm. Um, but also, it was, it was my 
total heart thinking instead of my mm. head thinking. I was like, you need to give them their pieces, but I mean, the... the, the, the uh, frustration, you're in the moment, the adrenaline's running, you want yeah, to get things done, but, and but you're this, a competitive the person. The strategic Zach and Delon should have been like, no, keep their pieces, keep their pieces until get you get to out. the island, yes. and then you've, you've, you've got the, the chance. But I mean, you've seen how Michelle screams. She was like, give us the beep pieces! I was like... <laughs> Give her the beep pieces, <laughs> and that was that was literally us throwing our our our, our chance at a million sure. bucks away. So it was it was really frustrating because we know we know we played hard. Mm. I mean, even if if we had kept the pieces, we could have gotten out of that boat, pushed it, totally, and then. But listen, it, it wasn't a reflection a on how hard you guys were working because you guys were a really good team. You won bounty many times, a yeah, couple yeah. of times, in fact. And the one time you had to uh, in, like in, inflict a kind of challenge on another uh, team yeah. where you made them carry those coconuts on their backs. Uh, but that caused a bit of an altercation, so let's take a quick look at that altercation. You have to decide right now which of the teams you will be giving a backpack with 20 kilograms of coconuts. The team that you choose will have to carry these coconuts throughout the entire race. We're going to choose Bangs and Anger because they're too strong men. The coconuts are fine for now, but they're going to get heavy as we go along, but we need to run. Yes! Oh, for real. We were going to give you these. You are not, I know. Them. I want you to keep them. No, you are not. You're not bitching. Oh, my God. Come on. Oh, my God. Sure, but I'm sure behind the scenes, a lot more words were shared between you guys it it wasn't great because you know you think oh we've got this uh what is it the twist and we really wanted to keep it and mm. we and then you have to put another team at a disadvantage and the, we thought with our hearts again we're like give it to bungs and anger because they're so strong mm. 10 kilos each is not gonna yeah. it's not gonna do anything to them i mean if we gave it to caroline or or the girls it would have like it would have been the end, for them. Woman would have mm. been the end for them so again we thought with our our hearts and not our heads. I need to be meaner! But, I mean, Anga started crying, and I was like, I don't, I don't know I don't what, what to, to do. do with this situation, I, yeah, yeah, I was like, I, we decided who we we're going to give it to because what we'd done to them, we also wanted to make yeah. it up to them. Which is so fascinating about this challenge. This whole competition has been mind games, personality games, emotional, emotional games, everything. And you guys came through all of that. I think still strong people. You're both smiling here today. <laughs> Maybe it's because the camera's on you again. So like, I must smile, but inside <laughs> I'm crying. Uh, you added such a, such a cool energy to the show. I've thoroughly enjoyed watching you on, on, on the different episodes. I'm so sad to see you Aww. go. And so I thought instead of just kind of like reminiscing on all of those, I'd love to show people some of the great highlights of you on Tropical Island of Treasure <laughs> Seychelles. Take a look. I've been preparing for this island for as long as I knew I was coming here. I feel mentally, physically, I feel physically good. Physically good. Physically, physically, physically good. <laughs> Team Zakia! <laughs> yeah, I was speechless. He was, I hugged him and he was like... <laughs> I mean, we won a challenge. I'm killing this move, you know, like... It's like Beyonce. That's the only move he's killing. <laughs> the only move he's killing and he's basically killing the rest of the dance. <laughs> I'm thinking I'll never let Zalan pedal a boat with me ever. <laughs> you are so awesome, man. You always were doing the dance moves. Please, one more time, both of you, your dance moves together. Oh my gosh, which one? How did you remember? How did you, that's the only... Oh, he's still killing it. All right, keep it to the <laughs> island. Thank you so much to both of you for joining us on the couch and congratulations on such a cool competition and bringing so much joy. I cannot wait to see both of you grow into the future. I've Thank only you. stopped dreaming about the island, like, <laughs> All other contestants are still there. Ah, oh, the joy I get in saying that. Now, don't forget to watch the next exciting episode of Tropica Island of Treasure Seychelles next Monday on SABC3. It's going to be at 7.30 p.m. Remember, you can also win by purchasing a Tropica and following the entry details on the bottle. You stand a chance of winning incredible daily and weekly prizes, as well as the grand prize of a Kia Sportage. Find T's and C's on tropica.co.za.